To wire a 220V outlet, first switch off power at the main circuit breaker. Next, use a drywall saw to cut out a hole in the right size and shape for the outlet box you want to install. Measure the shortest route between the outlet box and your circuit breaker. Then cut a 10 by 4 cable so that it's 2 to 3 feet, 61 to 91 centimeters longer than the distance you measured. Drill a hole in the wall near the circuit breaker box that's about 1 inch, 2.5 centimeters wider than the diameter of the cable. Run a rigid metal electrical conduit from the side of the breaker box to the hole you drilled and attach it to the wall with conduit straps every 1 to 2 feet, 30 to 61 centimeters. Use a fish tape to thread the cable through the wall between the hole you made for the outlet box and the hole you made near the circuit breaker. Push the outlet box into the hole and screw it in securely. Then pull about one foot, 30 centimeters of the cable out through the hole in the box. Use a wire stripper to remove one foot, 30 centimeters of the coating on the outside of the cable to expose the wires inside. Then strip half an inch, 1.3 centimeters of the insulation off the end of each wire. Feed the end of the white wire into the slot with the neutral screw on the back of the outlet and the green wire into the slot with the ground screw. Tighten the screws to secure the wires. Secure the black and red wires into the two unlabeled slots. Push the wires and outlet into the outlet box and secure them in place with screws. Then screw on the outlet faceplate. Strip the outer coating off of the last 1 to 2 feet, 30 to 61 centimeters of the end of the cable that will attach to the circuit box. Then strip half an inch, 1.3 centimeters of insulation off of the ends of each of the wires. Remove the front panel from the circuit box and punch out the pre-cut knockout on the side of the box. Attach a cable clamp to the hole and thread the wires through it. Install a 30 amp double pole breaker on the circuit. Then push the ends of the red and black wires into the ports on the breaker. Wrap the ends of the white and green wires around separate screws on the grounding bar in your circuit box and secure them in place by tightening the screws. Remove the knockout panels that line up with the new breaker on the faceplate of your circuit box. Finally, screw the cover back in place and switch the main power back on.